I saw a guy once in an air, like, I, I like to keep it somewhat adult when I fly. I mean, I'm not wearing a suit or anything. You got to be comfortable. But I saw a guy once in the airport um, eating a sandwich, wearing pajamas and a bathrobe on and slippers. Not as a bit either. He's like, it's, it's, go to hell, wow. man. It's I'm, amazing that, like, <laughs> I'm flying international. That's how Rodney Dangerfield used to walk around in. He would wear a robe. They Legit? Said Rodney would always wear a robe. <laughs> the only guy that can pull it off, though. Yeah. Is Rodney. <laughs> yeah, no one cared. <laughs> like, people, right, right. people think that, like, because they're flying, they should be comfortable, but they don't realize that airports are known as the most populated buildings yeah, man, ever. So this like, is these are the places where everybody's going to see you. Respect yourself. Right? Come on. Well, well, you're, you're a throwback. You know, you're you're a throwback to the days when people used to, you know, <laughs> flying was an event. I, there is something kind of cool about that, but nah, I don't I don't go that crazy. <laughs> well, you comfortable in a suit though? I mean, you, well, you, in this suit, I am. This is like you know a summer suit. I don't have to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is yeah. This is all right. Do you like dressing up? I do. It, it seems like like you, I do. You, your line of work would not. You know, you don't get into comedy and improv to wear suits, right? No, you don't. Right? No, I mean, I, like I like I like wearing yeah, like. Dressing, I, I don't, but it also takes so much time. Like, oh, I gotta tie the tie, and ugh, I gotta pick out a pocket square, guys. Right? Can you tie your tie? I can. Yeah. I can't do it. I've really? never learned. I've never learned to tie a tie. If, I, if I'm shooting something in Canada when we go up there, so I'll probably wear a suit for that or a suit jacket. And you gotta fucking. I can't do the tie. I gotta ask somebody to tie my tie. Come on. I'm 49 man. years old. I look can't do my this, tie. Look at. It. Are you all set up on the internet? Oh, yeah. You're all set up. Oh, boy, am I on the dark web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got instructions for that, I yeah. think. I taught myself how to tie multiple knots now. I can't do it. Yeah, multiple me too. Knot. Yeah, Double wins on... are not to brag. <laughs> That's actually very nice. Uh, Your tie looks very good. It's oh, well done. And the top button's it. open, so it looks comfortable. Yeah, like the Cash. casual. Yeah. New Year, I should have like a Financial Times under my arm. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, hustle and bustle. You, you <laughs> look like hustle, hustle and, bustle. and bustle. You're on your way to work. Once you get to the, the office, famous comedy you're team, it up. hustle and bustle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't. Uh, I don't like wearing them unless I have to. And I like. Yeah. I, I can't wear a belt when I fly. I can't wear pants and button when I fly because oh. I piss. I piss a lot, so it's like, it makes it uncomfortable. <laughs> it's on my bladder. Yeah, I usually like. I do the like. Uh, just surreptitiously unbutton my top button. Put you know another notch on the belt. Right. I'm gonna be sitting down for a while. It's yeah, time to undo yeah. the pants. I don't take my shoes off though. Oh, I do. Really? The second you I sit down, I'm an hell. animal. I'm an animal. You go to hell. I know. I understand. Uh, <laughs> my feet don't stink though. I bet you they smell great. They do. They're actually not uh, bad. Yeah. No, you know what? I'll give you that one. They're I, not that bad. That would be it. Yeah. Yeah. Over there, Bob. Bob. Do they Kelly. smell good? Would you say? Um, I would say they smell pretty good. Yeah. They're they're clean. <laughs> Um, then I, I, I'm pretty hygienic. Hold on, Bobby's gonna sit down. Do you know uh, Rob? Do you know Bob Kelly? Rob Cordry? What's up, Bob? Yeah, big fan, yeah. man. How's it How going, you doing? man? But once it's you're uh, once you're know. on like a series that people are, are like, it's a it's a popular series. Is that part of it too? Like you can't go on a plane anymore and take your shoes off because now the guy from Ballers has oh, his feet up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like Twitter explodes. <laughs> exactly. This, this guy's got bare. I would. By the way, bare feet. I wouldn't. I don't even like. I'd, I'd rather wear shoes in the shower than bare like, feet. No yeah. one's seeing my toes, man. But um, if 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 like there are people with holes in their sock and like the big toes sticking <laughs> out, and for that that like that my sets my brain on fire. Like how I can't even I can't handle that it's kind gross. of discomfort. It's disgusting. Myself. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. What's wrong with your gross. feet? People are gross. Oh, okay. I'll tell you. When I was in um, third grade, nothing's wrong with my feet. Um, but when I was in the third grade. Uh, Mary Claire, who lived behind me, said, "Oh, you have lady feet." Oh, and that's gonna give you a it scarred you. Boom. Yeah, done. My wife did trauma that to me. She My said, wife? "You have lady feet." No, she no. genitals. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> she said uh, a long time ago. She said, "You have thin fingers," and it it literally bothered huh. me. Sticks our with whole you. Religion, like our Why? Whole, because my fingers... It's your best feature now. You have beautiful <laughs> hands. You have beautiful <laughs> hands. The part that's thin. I was, was going to tell me he took care of that problem. <laughs> Let him do the fat jokes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but Didn't yeah. Cross it, the I, lines. it really <laughs> did. It affected me to this day. But yeah. I tried to like make my... Do like... like Turn stuff and open things. Do stuff so you could like work them out. <laughs> Thicker like, fingers. Yeah, I, just I wanna, shred your finger muscles. Yeah, like iron, iron worker hands. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Get some calluses going on yeah, there, like, like my dad's hands. Yeah, like our neighbor, the guy next door has big hands. Yeah, and I feel like she's looking at them sometimes. Yeah, like I should have had those. 
Well, yeah, plus your, your physical appearance. I mean, you know, you're on a show with probably the guy who's in the best shape in the country. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's doing all right. So yeah, you can't be. It's almost like <laughs> no pressure on you to be no, vain about how you look. Totally. Totally. People always ask me that too. Like, oh, do you always feel intimidated? Like you feel bad? And I'm like, no. Oh, come on, man. Like, no. I feel great. If if anything, like this, that that he's a monster. Like he's a mutant. <laughs> yeah, it's you amazing know? how much The Rock works. Like he literally. I don't no. think I've ever seen anybody work more than him. Every time you you yeah. you you see him tweeting or Instagramming, yeah. it's some new project. It's some new video that two million people are watching. Yep. And everything's um, successful. Everything. everything. Baywatch everything wasn't a hit, and even that is going to do well overseas. <laughs> sure it is. Sure. Sure it is. Sure. Yeah, he's yeah. got his own production company and everything. So you guys, oh, yeah. season three of Ballers premieres Sunday, July 23rd, 10 o'clock on HBO. That's right. Hugely successful. Yeah. Who do you play on it? I play a guy named Joe. Who is? He's uh, he's just kind of like the um, id of the show. Like, he's a... Uh, 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 maniac, you know, and 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 he's, but he's kind of got to be the adult sometimes. So. You're, you're with the rock, you and the rock are partners. Like, yeah, that's you right. get to be the rock's right, counterpart. That's right. Yeah. I'm like his um, second, yeah. you know, and but it's the kind of guy like you know that guy like we all have. You may even be this guy or have been the the guy that can like drink all night long and still go to work and look fresh as a daisy. That's the guy that I play. Oh, okay. The right. Guy, you just hate him for being like yeah. that resilient. There are guys like that, too. They go to bed at 3.30 and at 7 o'clock they're in the office and they're fine. Yeah. And you'll never yeah. know there's something wrong yeah, with them. Yeah, they can do it. Are you a football fan? I, yeah. I started. I watched the show. I started watching the show because of The Rock. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like the show because I'm not a football fan. But like I watch, I've seen every single episode. Yeah. Isn't that funny that like The Rock, like even the most cynical comedian... Loves the Rock. Like I've Everybody never met does. anybody that doesn't like him. He's just a nice guys. man. Yeah. Yes, yes, he exudes. But the... he's he's he has comic timing. He does. Like, he's he good. is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Me and Patrice used to watch wrestling just to watch <laughs> the Rock. Really, like, we'd, we'd be on the phone. That's hilarious. On Monday nights in New York, and not do spots, stay home to watch the Rock. Just do his interviews, just so he could just to do the just the promos. He the was so his promos were so funny, really, because he, he's the right. He had a good writer, but he was yeah. the, he was yeah. one of the funniest guys out there. Yeah, yeah, just throwing yeah. T-shirts over the interviewers' faces because they were too ugly. Yeah, and he, <laughs> <laughs> remember that? He yeah, would, he, but it was his T-shirt. Yeah, he'd take his so T-shirt <laughs> and he'd just drape it over the interviewers' <laughs> face. Would say just just bring it across the guy's <laughs> face. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. did you get, uh, did you get offered the role? or Did you audition for it? I got I got a meeting, you know, it's kind of like a half an audition. Sure. So I just I met with him and I just talked about football the whole time. That oh, was it. So, yeah. Did you, did you meet with The Rock? No, no, no. Uh, Steve Levinson. Okay. Uh, and, you know, it's so funny. We met at this place and his dad shows up. Lev, Big Lev. Um, Papa Dave, we call him. And he's like Steve Levinson's father. Steve Levinson's a huge Hollywood producer, right? He shows up with his dad, like this 80, 85-year-old guy. And he kind of like looks me up and down. And then he goes to the bar. And then I have a meeting. It, it, it goes great. And um, I find out later that he brings his dad to every meeting like this to size, because his dad can size up a person. Right. <laughs> that was wow. it. Wow. Really? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, he's psychic or something. He he's can, like, what, what do you think about you? He's like, well, oh, I got that part. He's like, this guy's not horrible, I guess. Right. right. You know, that's, what's, that's what's insane about- He's not about, a monster. That's what's insane about show business altogether, that like you can prepare and figure out like, what do they want? I'm going to be the guy. And it comes down to like, well, my, Papa da Dave. my dad got a bad vibe, <laughs> yeah. so we're not going to, we're not going to do it. He that or he just likes traveling with his dad and he's felt a great, uh, found a great way to build it into the fucking he's, budget. Yeah, yeah, right. His dad's a good guy. <laughs> I, yeah, do, I can do, see that. Do, are you just offer only now or are you, are you, do you still yeah. audition? Um, you know, I, I, no, I'm, I'm definitely auditioning. I like, uh, I, I'm good at auditioning. Oh, you are? Yeah, so I'm totally willing to. A lot of things are just offers, but I am, I'm the first guy to say, like, to ask for the audition to, if I really want something right. because... Because I'm good at it, I think. That's the one it's thing. It's a very I hard thing to of. do. Very hard thing. It really, yeah, you had, you had, I had to learn it when I first got to New York because I was like, that's never taught. You know, you're never taught how it's to do that. It's a totally different thing because sometimes you, you, it's just you, a reader, and the casting person. Yeah, it's so unnatural. Which is, and you're never going to get, I always get, uh, how tall are you? <laughs> <laughs> are you available? Yeah, and then yeah. I'm like. Does that mean something? <laughs> no, it means nothing. It means nothing. No. They're just asking everybody that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just like, uh, you got it. Yeah, you're, it's never going to be that good, like, your audition. Like, it's not going to be something that could, like, screen-worthy. But right. you just got to do, 
the best version of whatever you're reading for that room, knowing it's an unnatural place and this person's not an actor that's reading with you and you know, it's just it's it's kind of yeah. fun in a in a weird way. It's kind of it's so weird that it makes me laugh. It is kind of hard, you like, because you have to go in and that person you are reading with just did Starbucks orders. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, totally. It's like, yeah. and then is reading with you. Yeah, and this part could change your life. It was funny. I yeah, I had an audition a couple weeks ago, and the casting director was given the reader notes. Just the whole time. Just give like, like more energy, more energy, fun. Make it fun. Oh, they always say that. Make it fun. <laughs> make I like the fucking writer do does do that. that. The writer do should that. do it. Oh, more fun. Play? Yeah. yeah. Just play. Yeah. This isn't fun. It's humiliating. Well, uh, they should get notes. When they don't give you notes, yeah, have you ever yeah. done an audition, left, and walked back in and said, could I do it again? Because you're fun. No. You, so no, you, I'm psyched to get out of there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just want it to be over no matter. I did that once. She said no. Oh really? Oh, re- you asked oh, for a second shit. try, and she said no. Well, it ha- actually two times it's happened to me. One time it actually worked, and I got the part. And the guy nice. was Frank Lupo, the guy who invented the A Team, uh, wow. and and Hunter. Remember those shows? Yeah. Oh uh, god, yeah. Uh, uh, Stu Siegel type of productions, and mm-hmm. like and on USA Network, like mm-hmm. Eighteen Wheels. All that <laughs> but uh, and I went went back in, and and I was like, I listen, I I messed up. I I really I need to do that again. Like I mustered up the. Yeah. I need to do that again. She went, no, no way. You, you, no, you're good. Yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a bitch. What a I, fucking. Ass. You I know, know right? you know who did that and it worked was uh, John Ratzenberg. Ratzenberger Burger. That's how he yeah. got Cliff on Cheers. Get out of here. Yeah, he actually fucked up, botched the audition, and he went back in and just redid it. But he totally blew it the first time. Oh wow, man. Yeah, but maybe maybe sometimes they're like, you know what. It's not gonna happen either way. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they might have just known you don't look right. Yeah, because you, right. you know in a sec, like if ever I've cast something, you know in a second. Yeah, you know it's a no right away. Yeah, and then everybody else who's not an actor, the other producers will be like, "All right, next guy," and I'm like, "No, no, no, man, sorry, got to watch the whole thing." Really? <laughs> like I just can't do it. I can't do it. My my conscience. Oh, you, you know, watch it. Well, I have to. Because I have to. Because you're on the other side. Yeah. 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 Have you seen any bad ones? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just the wrong idea. Yeah. And, and kids are really hard to watch too. It's hard to watch kids audition. Why they bad? Because it? it's like everything's like a Broadway musical or something. Oh, They're no. just like me, you know. <laughs> and you can see their parents off. Like you can imagine their parents right off camera, like mouthing the words. You know, it's like. Oh. Do, you have, do you ever have somebody famous, like from a show? That you're like, oh, this is my, I love this guy, I love this show. And they come in and they just suck. They suck. Right? No, no, we just give offers for that, for oh, that really? shit. Yeah, I'm not going to like make whatever John Hamm audition. <laughs> <laughs> we had a guy from the, when we were doing the Bronx Warrants thing, I, it was the only time I ever got to be on the other side of it. Mm-hmm. And I got to be the guy I booked in the auditions. And they brought a guy from The Wire in. And I was like, ah, I was like, oh my God, this is. I was like, this is done. God. I was yeah. like, God, thank you for letting me get this far in my, this is, and then he stunk. Wow. Uh, he made a, ch- he just made an actor choice that was uncomfortable. He l- looked out the window the he- whole time. And oh. then at the last second turned and gave oh. the last line. I see what he's doing. Very Shakespearean. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck was that? And they were just like, thanks. Yeah. He's like, this will be ballsy. I was oh, so yeah. bummed out. Yeah. I, Oh no! They'll remember I want to know this. Who. Yeah, I'll tell you after. All right. <laughs> one of those like uh, one of those choices that you make where it's like this is e- this is going to make a big impact either way. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Like, I've decided yeah. to not go for a maybe. It's either going to be a uh, hard yes or a hard I, no. I had a commercial audition and I had and you know they they like give you all the props for commercials. <laughs> so I had a backpack on it was heavy, and so I, it was for an Aflac commercial. And I'm like walking up a mountain and I made this huge choice. At the top, I'm going to take my backpack off and throw it off the mountain. So the second the backpack leaves my fingers, I, everybody, and there's like 15 people in the room. They go, no, 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 no. And I was like, what? And it fell with like this crack. And I started to giggle a little bit like, what just happened? I go, what's in that backpack? And the writer goes, that was my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> and I was like, don't give a fucking actor your laptop. See on set, everyone. <laughs> you didn't get that one? Did not get that one. It uh, ran forever. I would have bought a house. I should have uh, gave it to you. She at least pay them back for the fucking laptop. Right? <laughs> oh, that stinks. Yeah. When you make a choice, they're like, no, don't do it was that. A good choice. Solid choice. I stand by it. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. If, if that laptop hadn't been in that bag. Sorry for, uh, you know, wanting to jazz up an Aflac commercial. Well, they you shouldn't know, be giving you a computer to carry like, without yeah, telling you. Sounds like his mistake, not yours. I can mime it, too, by the way. I can just mime. Look, look, guys. I mean, not good radio, but you guys can tell right For everyone at home right now, back. I'm looking at you and I'm thinking you have a backpack on. That's how good that <laughs> yeah. was. Yeah. But uh, commercial auditions are the worst because they do have, they make you pantomime a lot. And pantomiming <laughs> is the f- Fucking worse. Oh, I prefer it. I prefer <laughs> Do it. I don't want to get uh, confused with all these props and everything. Uh, like, you doing know. a basketball. I remember I had to do one with a basketball, <gasps> and I don't know how to dribble with a basketball. Never mind pantomiming more. Right. And I, st- I just forgot to dribble at one point, <laughs> and they kept going, keep dribbling. So I was like, I- I love it. Like, I'll do, if I'm driving and I'm just miming, like, in an audition, yeah. I'll make it a stick. <laughs> like, I'll hit the clutch and shift it. That's funny. That's <laughs> They're funny. like, what? Yeah, why are you doing what that? Is this isn't a, a love scene. I never know how far apart to put my hands when I'm miming driving. Like, for some reason, everyone, when we mime, You're we do it like, a, like a fucking truck or a bus. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no one does that. It's like this close, but it yeah, doesn't yeah, feel yeah. natural in an audition. No, you gotta do that thing where you just put one hand on it, right? Casual. Casually, yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fun. One of, like, the old old school steering That's wheel. how you do it though. You're like, I was driving and you're like, like no one drives this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you joke Pesci and Goodfellas. <laughs> yeah, it's not natural. Come on, Henry. <laughs> so you, do you, do you, I was going to ask, do you have an idea, like something like Hot Tub Time Machine, for example, yeah. did you have any idea that that would resonate no. the way it resonated? No. No, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, it had Cusack in it, so I thought, oh, this'll, this'll, you know, make some money. It didn't. It kind of it wasn't a bomb, but it didn't do great. And then it ha- it was became one of those things that like, you know, grew with time and became kind of culty. It's and that a, was a surprise. It's yeah. not a movie you go see. It's the movie you wait till you're in your house, yeah. and then you watch it ten times. Which unfortunately is like the case with comedies these days, right? Unless it's a huge thing, unless it's uh, whatever. Well, Baywatch, I was going to say, but that bombed. Like you can't do a comedy. I, I don't go to the, see comedies in in the movie theaters. No. You know, I see like big spectacle movies or things that you can't watch at home, like things yeah. that that need that's the way it is a now. giant screen, but yeah. you don't need them for a comedy. I miss that though. I, me I too. Remember, I remember seeing a com going and you seeing a movie, uh, a comedy movie at the theater, and the whole theater laughing. Yeah, yeah. Like what about Mary? I remember seeing <laughs> that movie, and the whole theater was fucking cracking yeah. up. Yeah, you know it is. It's a, uh, I think it's a lost experience. Yeah. You know, Dennis yeah, I don't gone. think I've been to see a comedy in a long time. Yeah. Um, Observe and Report with Seth Rogen is one of the last comedies I think I went and saw in theaters. Jeez. Yeah, I can't think of. Uh, oh no, no, Seth's movie I saw the. Uh, where did I see that at home? I don't remember. You know the one where he did the fucking uh, about the grocery store. That was a, we watched that. At, we had to watch it at home. We had was that at home? Okay, yep. yeah. Then I didn't go see that. Yeah, I, just I don't mean, go. I don't enjoy <laughs> comedies. They don't what? make me laugh usually. I, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, you, you, well, you're a comic. Like, you, you punch out. I punched out right now. Like, that would have, you know, make me cry or scare Plus, me. Yeah, that's yeah. a drama. Yeah. You're watching a part that you auditioned for and didn't get, <laughs> and you're mouthing the lines of the, per- the comic uh, yeah, who did but get what, it. But it's like a black woman that got it, and you're like, yes. <laughs> yeah. N- I had no chance. <laughs> yeah, you should have known, too. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't meant for me. It was, yeah. a, it was a judge. They always give it yeah, to a black Jane woman. Jane Lynch has, <laughs> has played, like, two parts I've auditioned for. Oh, really? I'm like, Great. Really? Yeah, go get them. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only seen that once. It was uh, Andrew Schultz got something I auditioned for. It was in some series. It was just a guy at a bar. The Amazon series with Giovanni Ribisi? Uh, maybe that Sneaky was Pete. it. Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, he had like a small scene in Sneaky I think he has like two scenes mm-hmm. in Sneaky Pete. And that was it. But it was I've never seen that. Sneaky Pete. Best, I refuse best, to watch things. Best title, uh, uh, I think, of any TV show. I want yeah. Shit's Creek you know is pretty good. I want Dick. I want Dick's pretty good. That's a good one. That's yeah. on that's on Amazon Amazon now. Amazon. That's What's it about? Kevin Bacon. It's the weirdest fucking show I've ever seen. What is it about? It's about I don't know. It's I not know. about wanting Dick. It's about this not all, yeah. this I couple. Bet. This I think they're artsy couple and they go to uh this town and Kevin Bacon is this artist who has like a community and he has people come there and live and do 
I don't fucking know, dude. I watched it. <laughs> You're really it, selling this one. I because re- I want. Is it I a love, comedy or a drama? It's both. It's like this weird dramedy. I love ah. Ke- Kevin Bacon. I love. I just love him. Yeah, I love whatever great. he does. I love the following. Was one of my favorite shows. He's great on TV. Yeah. What happened to the following? It it had got a, a, a the following left. Oh no! No one watched it. Well, it was a movie about a serial killer. And you can only go so far with it. They went three seasons, and this yeah, is, yeah. once you catch him it was twice, a likable serial killer. Yeah, was uh, that, well, uh, he, he, yeah, they be, yeah. in the second season they became friends, right. and there was another. And then it's like, where are you going to go with this? Oh, yeah. we, I'm so we go bored with serial killers. Enough. I, I, me too. Enough. <laughs> you know, only one man can stop him. Yeah, we Shut did. up. <laughs> yeah. Because he thinks like them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always some girl in a basement with, she has 20 minutes to live. <laughs> <laughs> and he rescues her. Yeah, I, I just can't watch minutes. that. Although they said... Yeah. Uh, Tarantino's next movie is going to be a Charles Manson movie. I believe only because Tarantino's doing it. Yeah. I, I am so fucking tired of Charles Manson, but because Tarantino is <laughs> going to do it, it's, but they said about Sharon Tate, more about Sharon Tate. Yeah, that I'll watch. That'll be oh, oh okay, yeah, that'll be cool. Anything he's doing, I like that be interesting. era too in Hollywood. That weird seventies, like dirty kind of yeah. swinging. Everybody's fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, to, I watched that. Yeah, women have hairy bushes. Yeah, so much hair. <laughs> it's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, people getting head in the pool. Oh my god, head everywhere. <laughs> I'm How just tired we... of Manson. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, no, a lot no, of movies have been made. Yeah. The story's been told. How do athletes uh, respond to ballers? Oh, they love it. Yeah, yeah, they love it, man. Um, and now we change the shooting dates so we can get more on. We change it to after the football season uh, because uh, you know usually we'd only have to get guys that are injured. You know, right. like, you know, um, you know, you can only cast Victor Cruz so much, right? Um, but, but, like, uh, so yeah, they love it, man. It's 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 pretty wild. Who do you have on this year? Who do we got on this year? Uh, Terrell Suggs is going to be on. He's, um, um, I don't know, I'm blanking. Bunch of guys, bunch okay. of tall, athletic dudes. Are you in, are you in rock? Do you, are you guys friends? Do you like hang? Have you ever hung out with him? Like gone to his house and chill? No, 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 no. No, really? well, no, and he's not that kind of guy either. Like he's he's a he's got a family, you know. He doesn't he doesn't you don't. It's so funny. Like I, I don't think I've hung out with anybody I've worked with. Really, it's like you're friends, but you're you're friends from work. Yeah, kinda. I mean, Children's Hospital. Those were all my friends first, so those guys I'll hang out with, and you know, Hot Tub. Maybe sometimes those guys will see him, have dinner or something. But I don't really hang out. Have you had dinner with The Rock? Um, have I? On the nah. set? Oh, no. yeah, 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 yes. No, it was like a, um, like a cast dinner. That the you never shared like one of those, real. uh, prepackaged peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by Craft Services with The Rock? <laughs> the best <laughs> thing ever yeah, that did. dude eats, by the way. He's got like a, a tub of just white chicken breast and rice. Uh, and it's a huge, and he eats at weird times of the day. Right. Like everything is so regimented. You gotta get the cows in. Gotta, what, hey. What does his trailer look like? You must have seen the inside of his trailer. Uh no, but I've the outside is insane. It's yeah. it's massive. It's in it's so beautiful. And he's actually got a TV on the outside of his trailer. So his driver watches TV like there'll be games playing on, on the outside of his trailer. Wow. And I think he's got another one too that is just a gym in there. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah. He has a gym. Trailer. I'm pretty sure I, I don't I haven't seen that one, but wow. I don't think it's next to his. Well, yeah, that's why he can't just be running off to the gym in the middle of a shoot. Right. right. What he time works do you guys start? What's that? He works out twice a day. Does so. he really? Yeah, yeah. So they, that's all built into his contract that he has his workout time. Sure. Have you seen his legs? He, he's got to work out twice a day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're incredible. I, I know. I, I was at a gold gym. I was on a pre-core machine behind him, dying, and he was on the treadmill in front of me. Mm-hmm. And I was just, I just wanted to go jump on one of his calves. <laughs> Mesmerizing, <laughs> right? He is. Yeah. Just he's not a human. He's like a different. Was he jogging or walking briskly? He was jogging briskly. <laughs> what, I... what was he doing? Like a six? What was he? <laughs> five five? No, no, no. Five five. Oh, five five. Yeah, I so, would. I would make a concerted effort to be friends with The Rock. Um, I just want him. I, we have a great relationship, and we get along really well. And I consider him a friend, but I don't want to. 
I don't want to do anything to ruin that. I'm right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just keep it cool, man. We're right. good right here. If he wants to hang out, I'm all I'm all his. But I'm not gonna be like, hey, hey, do, like bouncing around yeah. him like a little what puppy. If saying, dog. What if he's telling his friends, like, yeah, dude, he doesn't want to hang out. He yeah. Yeah. Well, Rob's I'm aloof. Him. You wanna talk to me? <laughs> yeah. Fuck him then. <laughs> <laughs> Although it would be great for somebody that everybody loves, like the rock, to think that you're aloof. Like <laughs> no, that makes man. you even cooler. Yeah, you think Rob doesn't like me, guys? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just get weird vibes. I, I tried to give I made extra rice and chicken yeah. and he, he doesn't ask for any <laughs> <laughs> i might be blowing this relationship yeah what is your trailer like uh double banger yeah yeah that's it Ch- get, double banger double banger yeah double banger just love, a normal old uh love the double banger they got new trailers now though like you know they used to have the star wagons like yeah. those crappy they're like uh, from the 70s yeah they got now they have these like I don't know these green trailers that are it's kind, it looks like a boutique hotel yeah in them so that's nice they don't have them over here yet they don't not in New York it's star wagons it's star wagons yeah it has a it has a DVD player still that doesn't work and no, cable that, that never, oh, never that's works. this is the only show by the way I've worked on where the cable works right. in the trailer hey. oh are you actually in LA you're shooting you're not shooting in New York yeah right shooting in LA okay yeah. do you live there full time yeah was that a choice, or is it just because of work? Uh, no, no, it was because of work. And I, um, I lived here for like 15 years, and you know, they, I was like, you gotta drag me out of here, basically. And but, but if the only way I'll move there is if it's for something, and then I did, and then that something got canceled after six episodes, and the writer strike happened. What <laughs> so, was that? Uh, it was called The Winner on Fox. It was oh, uh, yeah. Seth MacFarlane's first live action yeah. show. Mm. And it was about a guy like in his 30s whose best friend, he's kind of like a shut-in weirdo, and his best friend is like a 13-year-old boy. And it's really funny, but then I think one episode in, Fox was like, what the fuck did we do? <laughs> this is a child molester show. <laughs> we gotta pull the plug on this. This is horrible. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was creepy. And you're married, right? Yeah. Did your wife want to move or no? Yeah, she's fine. Oh, she she's fine care. wherever. She doesn't. She's moved around her whole life. She what does she do? She's a speech pathologist. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So, wait, was that helping people who uh, are fucked up? Or? Yeah, oh. who have like who like she teaches people how to swallow again after after wow. accidents, you know, motorcycle accidents Jeez. and shit. Wow. Yeah, it's something, man. I used to go visit her at work, and it was. It was a bummer. Stroke victims and all that stuff. She's yeah, stroke victims, mostly accidents, mostly like car accidents or motorcycle accidents. Mm. You know, um, really sad stuff where it's the person's fault. But now look, they don't deserve what's happened to them necessarily. Mm. Like, and uh, it's just heartbreaking, man. But oh, she's it, just like just does it. People who like it's their own fault because the the way the accident happened. Yeah, you mean? whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's usually like she'll say, "Yeah, well, he was doing this. He was doing that." But, but I mean, look, he lives in a prison now. Mm. Basically, he can't move his face. You ever see those people that fucking try to blow their head off with a shotgun, but they live? Oh, oh dude. The yeah. Wor- the I, I always think with their tongues and teeth and like the repair on the inside of the mouth, oh. it must suck oh. so much. And you're seeing the repair job. Yeah. Too. Like, can you even imagine what the? Oh. Yeah, so speech pathology, you probably see a lot of uh, unpleasant sights. She, she liked, yeah, she told me she's she has to sweep just garbage out of people's mouths all the time, like m- mucus. She's like black mucus out of <laughs> what Does else she do you want to talk about? Jesus. Does she yeah. wear gloves? Yeah, she wears gloves. Right. Oh, yeah, no, she's she very her, neat. No, she just sticks her Some fingers people, in. Some people, old school, the yeah, old school dentist it. would just shove she, his fucking hand in your mouth. She digs it. What do you mean the old school? Like in, 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 in 1840? No, in the 70s. They, they no. didn't, I didn't just wear gloves in the yeah. 70s. No, yes, they did. Yes, they definitely did. Yes, they I don't did. know if they did. I think no. I'm with Jim. No, Dr. Seiler, who was my doctor, did not wear gloves on Dr. Brackett didn't wear a condom either. I said, you know why would he? I was young. I couldn't get pregnant. The other <laughs> I was trying to get that joke in you. Oh, that shit. Was <laughs> one. No. Yeah. yeah, I think my dentist used to like press his dick up against me too. He <laughs> Did you really? Always, always had his like crotch like right on my shoulder. Oh no! And when I got old enough, I was like, "This is not. This is not like a more comfortable place yeah. to be for him." Would it right. fill up or no? No, 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 no. It was. But just, he was just pressed against you. Hang over your shoulder. Man. I don't know. It's weird. Probably I, just a little something for I the gotta, spank bank later. Started yeah. getting. <laughs> I started getting a bad vibe from Dr. Right. Brackett. 
Yeah. He's dead. I can talk about oh, good. him. Sure. Okay. Oh, good. Sure. Yeah, plus it's just a vibe. You're not saying he did anything. Hey, no, right. no, it didn't. So, that I know. I mean, so, I was out a lot in there, you know. Who knows? <laughs> Wake up with your little, your, your young 11-year-old boy, Ty Askew. <laughs> yeah. Smoking. Somebody's for some father reason. killed him. <laughs> yeah. So did you uh, did you ever stop seeing him, or did you ever say, hey, well, I can't go to this guy? No, no, no. I just, you know, went to college. Oh, okay. And wow. that, was, that was it. <laughs> it lasted quite a while. <laughs> it was a while. Yeah. <laughs> I had a guy I used to buy sweatsuits from. He was a barber. And I would buy sweatsuits from him in New Jersey, mm -hmm. and uh, he's a big fat guy, and uh, he would always press up against my arm when he cut my hair, but I always got a weird vibe, like he's being yeah. sexual. Well, you know that like happens sometimes, you know, they'll like a position they have to get yeah. in. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just like when I was like 15 or 16, I started noticing a pattern, and I was like, this well, is unnatural. Plus, you talk to your friends about it, and you're like, oh, don't you hate it when the dentist like rubs his yeah. dick on your shoulder? And that, they're like, that's part of the uh, what? exam, right? They're like, what? No. What are you talking about? My, <laughs> my rule is if he doesn't get high, it's, it's not bad. If he doesn't get hot, hard. I mean, hard. If he doesn't hard. get hard, <laughs> yeah. it's not bad. He can if get hard if he's sober. If it it's also insulting. If it doesn't fill up. I know, right? What's the matter with me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, if I can't get a dentist, uh, dick sh hard, what's wrong? Right? <laughs> <laughs> my shoulder's got blood running through yeah. it, man. Come on. <laughs> so that was your only experience with somebody trying to be a little creepy? Yeah. That's not that bad. No, it's not bad. 